Oh look, there's a second one right here too. All righty. Nice little button. Look at this dude. Beautiful little chunky chanterelle. Let's cover that up. Look at this nice little chunky cluster. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Hey, good morning. Thanks for joining me today. We are out in the Oregon Coast Range today. It's the end of August. We're hunting for early season chanterelles, lobsters, hedgehogs, and maybe some chicken of the woods. It's a beautiful day. We're starting out at about 1,400 feet. We're a little bit inland today, but there's enough moisture on the ground that I think we're going to get into some mushrooms. So let's get out and have a good, safe hunt. Let's go. So we arrived at the bottom of this little valley here. We had to trek down a little ways to get to the bottom. But if you check this out, you can see we got a lot of pine here, a lot of some deciduous trees in here too. But last year, there were chanterelles all over the place. It's still pretty dry. Moisture starting to pass through, starting to get a little bit of, of moisture on the ground and moss is coming back. So it should be a good sign that there should be at least some baby chanterelles here, if not more. I also found some chicken in the woods over in this spot over here. So we're gonna go check that out. That might be popping already. So let's keep going. Whew. A little out of breath. I've been climbing up this steep vertical hill and I haven't seen anything along the way. But I came across this area that I know has mushrooms. I had mushrooms last year. And check it out, I found my first chanterelle. Look at this little cluster in here. And look, there's another one there and I think there's some more up there. So. These are summer chanterelles. These are gonna be very dry and dense and go right into the fry pan. So this is a good sign. I was uh, about to just call it and uh, this is a good sign. So woohoo, let's get them. Let's harvest them and uh, keep going. So a lot of people ask me, how do I find my spots? How do I know where to go and when to go? Well, it, it, the short answer is it takes time and practice and where we're at today, I found this area last year on Google Earth. It's about 1,400 and some odd feet. It's south facing. It's This is a heavily treed pine forest. It's it's secondary growth. This thing's been replanted maybe 20 or 30 years ago. But a lot of shade, a lot of moss, a lot of ferns. And I just found it. And, you know, last year there's there were chanterelles everywhere. So it's still early. Another couple of weeks, this place will be loaded with chanterelles. So you got to put your time in. You got to get out on the road. You got to put some miles in the car. You got to put some miles on your feet and just find your spots. And use a GPS or some kind of mapping software to figure out when you find a good spot, you can make, make sure you can come back next year because I've hunted the same spots for the past four or five years and every year they fruit. So it's all good once you find these things or make a friend that knows about mushrooms and uh, have them show you some of your spots. But if somebody's nice enough to show you their secret spot, keep it a secret or I promise you, you won't get invited again. So just a little PSA. Here's some other little ones that I saw from the hill. Look at this, we've got two growing here. We've got three going there. We'll leave those guys alone. No sense taking a bunch of babies. There's no glory in that. We'll just take the bigger ones and keep going. But this is a good sign. I'm just going to continue up this hill. And this is a pretty severe slope. It's uh, it's facing south right now. So it's getting some moisture. But pretty severe slope. Um, not a lot of moss. So I'm kind of surprised that they're here. But they were here last year. So it's only a matter of time. So let's keep going. So check this out, guys. A couple little babies here. But this guy here is definitely big enough to harvest. That is a pretty nice looking chanterelle right there. See the ridges underneath? They're not gills, they're not pores. They are ridges. 
pretty easy to identify. If I were to pull this thing apart, it would pull apart like, like string cheese. And, but these are my favorite ones. These big chunky mountain kind of, of chanterelles. They're big, they're thick, they're dense. They are uh, really easy to cook up and pretty hardy. So they'll stay in the fridge for a week or two if you just keep them uncovered and in the fridge. But these guys are ready to go in the pan. So let's package it up. So how I'm approaching this hill, you can see it's pretty steep. And what I'm doing is I'm walking kind of at a slight diagonal across and then zigzagging back, kind of a bunch of switchbacks. And I'm really looking at any nooks and crannies because these, these chanterelles are small. They're still trying to pop up through the duft and the pine needles and everything. So I'm really taking my time, going slow, looking for any kind of bump that might be sticking up. So let's just take a look. Cause I think I see something over here popping through and look right here here's a chanterelle that is already drying out it's already splitting but this guy's not gonna live much longer so we'll tap him out and we'll take him so and almost buried up the holes guys that's important you always want to be good stewards of the forest when you take one like this and this one actually has a little bit of dust mold on it I'm not bothered by it, it'll wash off. But still a chunky mushroom, let's call it a two-biter. Still good for August, so not bad for a bonehead. There's another little guy here, sticking out. See this little baby here? We're gonna leave him. But this is a decent size mushroom. You can see that we got a little creek running down through here, so I think that might be what is uh, bringing some moisture in. But as I look up the hill, I see several more chanterelles popping up. So let's keep going. Pretty good day. So I came across a really nice young cluster. Check this out. Look at all these mushrooms hiding in here. We got a bunch here, half a dozen here, a couple of them hiding in here. These guys might be big enough to take, but I'm going to leave them. I think we're going to find others, but even look, look up here. There's another spot right here. I got two of them. There's some more in the hill. We'll leave those guys here. We'll come get them in a, a week or two. And then they'll be five times the size. So let's uh, let's keep that in mind when we're mushroom hunting. If they're really small, just mark them on a GPS. And come back and get them later. Getting a bag full of tiny mushrooms is really not... I mean, they're going to taste good, of course. But you get a lot more if you just come back a week later. So... Keep that in mind. Check this out. There's another cluster of chanterelles. I think I'm just going to take this one. Leave the rest of those guys for next time. So I'm making my way up this hill. We started out down here, down there. Came all the way up. We went crisscross, back and forth. We picked up a nice couple of handfuls of, of chanterelles. But as I'm looking around, check out this nice little cluster down here this is a beauty right here this guy that's a nice nice chanterelle and we got two others here that are good size as well there's a couple more little ones in here we're just going to leave them but look at those beautiful so another tip when you're hunting for chanterelles and just mushrooms in general if you're hunting a slope it's always easier to see the mushrooms looking uphill than downhill for some reason, I think it just gives you a better angle to look underneath the duff, anything popping up. And a lot of times I'll be walking along, looking down, not seeing anything. But when I get below and start looking up again, all of a sudden the mushrooms are there. So it's just a better point of view and angle to see anything that's popping up. And uh, it's just a better way to find mushrooms. So hope that helps. So I'm walking on a trail here. Well, not really, not really a trail. Uh, off trail. And... I came and stepped over this log here and washed my feet. Let's check it out. Nice. A nice. Oh, that's a big one. Nice chanterelle sitting right there. But look, here's a buddy of his. And over here, another chunky mushroom. A couple little ones left in that hole. We'll leave them. But just goes to show you, oh look, there's another one right here. 
two of them. Oh, what's well, one kind of fused together, kind of split. So look at that. Four little nice little mushrooms in this one spot. So it pays to slow down. It pays to slow down, look around, and uh, and move slow, move move slowly through the forest, but with a with a purpose. We had a pretty good hunt today. We found a nice basket of summer chanterelles. Didn't know if we were gonna find any. We were doing more scouting than anything else, but they were out and they're in great shape. Perfect condition to go right in the fry pan after a nice little wash. But all in all, great hunt. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you liked it, please subscribe, give me a thumbs up, tell your friends, and I look forward to seeing you in the next adventure. Thanks.